I'm going to do our last discussion in three little pieces. This is the first one. Recently, we developed a method for solving initial value problems that was based on interpolating f of t and y at three places. One of them was the most recent time value at which we know the solution, or at least an estimate of it, the time value before that, and strangely, the time value at which we want to know the value of the solution. After figuring out the interpolating polynomial and integrating it, it developed that our first real implicit method is wi plus 1 is wi plus delta t over 12 multiplied by the quantity 8 times the f value at ti plus 1, wi plus 1, plus 5 times the f value at ti, wi, minus the f value at ti minus 1, comma, wi minus 1. This led us to the idea that we're going to solve an equation, x equals constant, plus constant times 8 times, this term does depend on x, but these two terms don't. We put the method of solving that into a subroutine called solve x, and we used Newton's method on it. There are two disadvantages to Newton's method. Firstly, I have to decide what to use as initial value for x, that is to say, an initial estimate for wi plus 1. We had several choices. One choice would just be to use wi. We saw that wasn't very good, though. Another choice would be to use what you would get if you started at ti and did a step of Euler's method. We tried that out, and that was a great improvement. Or, of course, we could do one step of wrench cut of 4, or some similar method, starting at ti and going to ti plus 1. So if I think of the formula that we just had a minute ago for our update, I can also think of x equals some expression that only involves x, I can think of this as a fixed point iteration or a fixed point method. x needs to equal g of x if I want to have x being equal to wi plus 1. So we'll do a fixed point iteration instead of Newton's method. I'll initially set x equal to some initial estimate for wi plus 1. And then we'll have a loop. I'll go around a certain number of times. Each time, I'm going to take my current estimate for w number i plus 1, stick it into the g function, and set x equal to that value. Assuming that it converges nicely, I'll set w number i plus 1 equal to x, and this will be my replacement for Newton's method. As you'll recall from the discussion of fixed point iteration, things are going to go our way if the absolute value of the derivative of the g function is small, bounded away from 1. If you look at the g function in the way that we're thinking right now, then g prime at x is going to be delta t over 12 times 8 times the partial derivative of f with respect to y, evaluated at t equals ti plus 1 and y equal x. If the partial of f with respect to y never gets very big, it's bounded, say, and delta t is small enough, then this number can be made as small as you like to make it. In particular, you can make it smaller than some number l, which in turn is smaller than 1. 
This tells me that as long as the partial of f with respect to y isn't too badly behaved, then if I make delta t small enough, this fixed point idea will work. So what I'm thinking of doing is making a copy of subroutine solve x. I'll call it solve x2 because it's the second version. Instead of doing Newton's method, solve x2 is going to implement this fixed point idea. There are pluses and minuses to this thought. A big plus is I only need f values. I don't have to ask the user to provide a routine that calculates any partial derivatives of f. Also, if delta t is small enough, then the fixed point method is guaranteed to converge, assuming that the partial of f with respect to y is reasonably nice. But then there's the big downside. Newton's method, when it works well, is quadratically convergent, but generic fixed point is only linearly convergent. This means to get good accuracy, I might have to do a whole lot of steps of the fixed point method. When I say accuracy, I mean accuracy in solving the equation x equals all of that stuff that had a single x in it. In a moment, I'm going to go into my program. I'm going to modify it so that it has solve x2 in addition to solve x as a subroutine. Solve x2 will not have Newton's method. Instead, we will be doing steps of this fixed point method instead.